Hello YouTubers, this is Stunnings from Craft Creatively and I'm showing you a redstone tutorial today and I'm going to try to explain it as best as I can but, but this is a um, four digit combination lock but it's easily expandable to a nine digit and I'll show you how to do that but we're going to start off by making, this is the keypad, four buttons and then just whatever block you want and then what you want to do is um, we're going to make the outputs to each button so each button will power a torch like that and uh, now we need to make sure we have to conceal every torch to one repeater on the ground so this one this repeater comes from the top torch this one from the top torch and these are the two bottom ones Next step, what we want to do is place down, make a, I mean, I'm sorry, put a two deep trench, uh, four, a four long, one wide, two deep. And then we want to put any block you'd like over the trench. And make sure you have one space here so you can leave redstone out. And then we're going to put four more repeaters down. And do the same thing over and over, uh, four times. Yeah, four times. And then now, uh, this will come in handy later, which this would be the uh, how to reset the lock. Uh, you just want to put torches on top of every block here. Alright. And now we're going to figure out our code. And how you figure your code out is what buttons you want to hit first. So I want to hit this top left one first. Okay, so this line lights up, so we're going to knock off the first torch. And put a block under it with redstone just leading out and then put the block back and make sure you have no torch so whenever we hit the first one that will turn off and now we want to figure out what, what we want for our second button so I want this button and it is the third line so we're going to come over here and punch out this and put down our redstone and our block back like so and then our third code which would be say I did that one right yeah did that one we're gonna go here 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 all right so come to the third line block redstone redstone block and this is fully customizable customizable and then our fourth one would be this one. And we're gonna knock out here, here. Jump down here, redstone, 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 block, redstone, block. So now we have our, our code set out. Now we need to uh, make a decoder. So you wanna put down three blocks here of any and two blocks here then three blocks here and two blocks here and if you're doing the nine you would just extend this um, five more out and this five more and it's the same pattern like this over and over again like that and then for the ones we added two uh, two blocks you want to put a repeater and then we want to put a torch on top of every first block right here and we're gonna make a little compact RS null latch and I'm using different wool to signify it. and um, this is just simple just follow along what I'm doing I'll try to do it as slow as possible Total, I think you only need 28 repeaters for this, but I'm not completely sure. And then we want to put down our lines that'll hold the power, and we're just gonna put redstone here, 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 and for here we're gonna knock out two blocks, put a torch 
a piece of redstone, and then a repeater, and then another piece of redstone, and put a block on top of that. Then here we'll knock out three blocks and do basically the same thing except for one more repeater. And then repeater, repeater, block, blah, redstone, then block over that, and then here, two, redstone, then now we can add our redstone coming from here. And there. So now this is basically what you need. Um, you'll see as I put in my first code, the first torch will light up. If I put in the second code, the second torch will light up. Third button, third torch, fourth button, fourth torch. And the way to get your, your output, you'd want to put a block here and you can lead this to a door or whatever you'd want. You can lead that to a door. Um, you can ex wrap that around anywhere you want. Okay, but now you gotta say, um, someone could just ran randomly mash down all the buttons until they got the code, right? Well, technically with this design, yes. But now I'm gonna show you how to uh, make it where they cannot do that with the same design. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna add reset lines, which are really simple. Uh, just add blocks over the torches like this. This is where it comes in handy. Um, all the way till you get to here. And break this and put one on top. Okay, and now you want to put repeaters over the places where these torches are so it does not cross talk. So we have one here. And we have one here. And one here, and then here, and then here. Now you just want to put redstone all the way over here. I should put some torch here so you can see what I'm doing a little better. Those torches don't matter. <laughs> Now this is, um, you need to put to a torch here, 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 and here. And right now we have our code is not working, but that torch will turn off when we have our code right. So first one, second one, third one, and fourth one, and our torch is off. But say someone puts in the wrong code, like the torch will stay on and it will not unlock the door or whatever you have it set up to. But one thing about this, once you get the code right, it'll the uh, door will stay open. Real quick, I will show you how to add a a, a timer where it will like shut the door after. After you've been in there for like, I don't know, t like after you walk in, it'll shut itself. So I'm gonna get um, some wool. Okay. And this is really simple. Um, I'm gonna take this away. So you have your door leading this way, and your door's over there somewhere, or wherever. All you wanna do is put a repeater here, and this is where you're gonna make a delay. So delay as long as you want. I'm just going to delay it just a little bit. And we now we want to go up to actually we need to do this. We're going to leave this line up to here, or to behind the, the uh, repeater, sorry. And just attach this with redstone, and put a repeater here, so whenever you're hitting the buttons, it does the current does not come this way. And that 
that should be it. So we're actually going to attach a door to this now. I'm going to put it right here. We're going to use an iron door. And just a repeater here. And here. All right. So if we put the right code in, door should open and then close but if we put the wrong code in nothing will happen but I, I show you and click, quickly show you how it works in action so let's put the right code in and you'll see here power comes around comes up and then resets it and as the power comes out the, all the torches are back off and this concludes this um, combination lock tutorial. I hope you learned something and peace out.